of uh, the Rifts campaign. Uh, in this stream, we play various tabletop role-playing games while you, the Lords and Ladies of Fate, earn Fate Chips so that can be used to uh, make have uh, your players say silly lines or uh, redeem objects or uh, make them do uh, funny things and then uh, reward or punish them depending on how well they did for you. Or just challenge them to depending on how much they piss you off. <laughs> That's one approach. Uh, and then uh, tonight we're playing Rifts by Palladium Books. It's a futuristic uh, world where a war and natural disasters devastated the Earth and magic ley lines that crisscross the Earth rip open Rifts to other dimensions allowing all manner of beings and creatures to repopulate the planet. Uh, and tonight we are joined by uh, Armand playing Dwyer the oh, oh, human oh. leyline walker. We've got uh, er Ermadin, or Ermslayer, uh, playing as Ermadin, the dwarven uh, mining king. <laughs> yes. Welcome, welcome. We've got Adam uh, playing okay. Billy Wildstar, the human ranger. We've got uh, Chris or Bruce Gaskin playing as Rungus. Level the four Rungus. Blue Sea Water Ooh. Warlock. <laughs> level and then we've got uh, Emily uh, joining us as uh, Nala, the mutant cat mystic. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who wants to do a recap? Rungus leveled up. <laughs> That's the recap. Boom. That's all that happened. <laughs> That's all there is. Uh, so what what happened? Um, what did we do last week? There was, was, a, the last there was a dragon. Storm. Right, the dragon. We, yeah, so we tried to defeat the dragon through a couple different methods. We tried to turn it into a, an ox, and that failed. We tried to choke it out with a, um, an energy field around its head, and that failed. Um, but we did successfully escape it, I believe, or at least I, I, 
were running at the you know, end. You know, it, it stopped the dragon in midair, so did it accomplish what I wanted to? No. Was it a failure? No, I don't think so. Oh. Uh, wait, we didn't actually get out of that situation, though, did we? You did. We did. Remember, how how did we get away from successful. it? Remember, he put the um, energy field around its uh, head, so it couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. But what did we do? And then I we, squeezed And it. then you guys ran away. We, we, but we didn't get right. away, though, did we? Yeah, yeah and well, the we winds kept... It for round yeah, you, and then ran. And the winds kept picking up. And you guys uh, found that little abandoned, or not abandoned, but ruined uh, town or village or whatever. And uh, oh right, you ran inside. And then we fell into a hole. Uh, Ermin oh, fell yeah. into a hole as he was digging. Oh right. Oh yeah, I found a cellar and I started digging a hole in the cellar to shield myself from the winds. I think you guys got swept away while I was. No, in. I'm I'm attached to uh, an ox, played by my good friend <laughs> Rungus. That's true. <laughs> and uh, on Twitch, I've actually oh, right. put a little game board with I'm everybody's the little tokens on there. So. Oh. Cool. Well. It's fancy. Awesome. Yep. Mine is blank right now. Oh well. Sorry for your yeah. luck. He's blind drunk. That's, uh, I'll take that, if that's my luck. Um... Just means good luck comes my way and it will be better. Anything else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. I think that's... I oh, think, and, uh... I think that's it. And Nala has, uh, put all that loot that she got from the dragon in her backpack. All right, so uh, real quick, Atlas, thanks for the uh, sub the, for five months now. Five months sub. Boom! It's amazing. Thanks for that support. Uh, anybody who might be joining uh, us for awesome. the first time, uh, if you don't mind hitting that follow button, it's greatly appreciated. We have a, a goal. We're uh, eight followers away from uh, hitting 100, uh, and our one-year anniversary comes up in... Um, Three weeks? Four weeks? Ooh. Four weeks. Yeah, let's get a hundred. A wow. hundred in one year. Which would be pretty awesome. Uh, we also have subscriber goal that we're trying to get to, so we can unlock our next emote. So we need, uh, I guess, probably need um, seven or, yeah, probably seven more of those. So, um... And then it looks like we had an XP redemption for Dwyer. Thanks to Atlas. Oh, yeah. I wrote that down. Lickety split. Um, Boom. Did I miss anything else? Uh, hi, Joe and Crystal. Thanks for uh, stopping in and saying hi. Hi, Joe. Hi, Crystal. And, okay. That should catch us up on everything. All right. So, uh, where we left off. Well, the one thing I didn't do is bring up my description stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You, you want me to sing O Town oh, again? Please. Get, get, please get do. a follower rating? And that, that's fine. <laughs> you guys got to pay extra for that. <laughs> there is a sing redemption. You can force <laughs> people to, to sing a couple lines, which has been a very entertaining. Yes, and. And Rungus, Rungus is the best at it because he'll sing it in blue sea. And let me tell you, the blue sea have the vocal cords of the gods. Sometimes it your heart. Sometimes I, I, I sing it as Bruce Gaskin. Yeah, have you ever heard of the brown note? It's kind of like that. Not the Bruce Gaskin version, though. Yeah, I I challenge you to keep your bowels inside when the blue sea starts singing. <laughs> oh my! All right, nice. starting off strong. <laughs> All right, so we were at uh, we were at category three. However, it's uh, still picking up strong. Um, you guys were starting to get pushed around. Debris was starting to fly around and actually hitting into you guys. Um, didn't somebody tie themselves to something else nearby outside of the? Yeah, uh, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm an ox, yeah. and 
uh, Dwyer tied himself to me. Yeah, I thought there was somebody else that tied themselves to something, too. Oh. I could be wrong about that, but... Um... I want to bring up this book for future reference. Alright, so... Um, yeah, what are you guys going to do? Is there anything else I need to do to level besides increase PPE? Um, everything else goes up the, the, the points, right? For my skills, go all go up. The, everything that has a plus, right? Yes. Does my health HP go up at all? Anything else? Yes, your HP does go up. Usually, okay. it's 1d6. It really kind of depends on your race. Um, let me... So in case you guys are wondering, um, uh, Rungus has acquired three new spells from his level four while Nat looks that up. He has secured Chromatic Protection, an invocation that allows him to cast a protection spell on himself or others that he touches. Oh, touch me, Rungus. That touch blinds me. anybody who tries to do anything aggressive towards that person if they're within ten feet. Um... Uh, doesn't work very well in supernatural beings, but pretty much everything else, except for godly creatures and supernatural beings. Like supernatural oh, so beings, it works half as good. Godly so creatures. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work on me because I'm so godly. <laughs> I'm sure, it work on you. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that one. And I, that I, one. I also acquired create water, so now I have create water, and I also have salt water to fresh. So if I ever need, which is kind of makes my salt water to fresh spell worthless, but I started off with that. That was like a level one, so. Ooh. But now I have create water. I can summon it out of thin air. Dude, that that gives that been... gives me and you a really good one-two combo, if you ask me. Yeah. Level up. Learn to create beer. Learn to create beer. I actually do have, there's a spell called uh, water, water to wine. I did not get that spell. <laughs> I, I now wish I'd gotten that instead of salt water to fresh, but there's, it's never too Are late. Are you deep? I know. I, I missed that one. <laughs> um, missed the boat on that one. But then I'm, the last one I got is Wall of Ice. Which uh, lets you build the um, wall. Of ice. Of ice. Specifically. Are we going to make the vampires in Mexico pay for it? Uh, oh! I'm going to have to pay PPE for it, but I will take it out on the Mexicans. <laughs> they're they're they are Hispanic vampires, actually. Thank you very much. The Rifts Rifts world is very diverse. Was it a wall of ice or a wall of lice? Oh, ice. The lice. <laughs> oh, I agree. You get it, ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I came back to the stream at a weird time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you get two six-sided dice of extra hit points. Wow. I get two and everyone else gets one per level? Yeah. That's pretty sexy. Yeah. All right, you're cool. You're a little tougher than normal. Little tank. I get eight. Great. And that's every. I think that's the last thing I have to do to level up. Thank you. Oh, nice. right? uh, actually, that else. is incorrect. Let's see Ooh. here. Uh, okay, this is all one time. Um, Anything else happened to level four? Check in your skills, because sometimes you get more skills. Ooh, we can do that after the stream. Yeah. But I am intrigued. And then the I other thing is your hand-to-hand. -hand. What hand-to-hand -hand do you have? Oh, um, I don't have any hand-to-hand. -hand. I have some proficiencies, but no hand-to-hand -hand skill. It'd be, like, above where your number of attacks and initiative and all that stuff are. Oh, oh, um, let me see. Uh, I have attacks and then basic above that. Basic, okay. Um. Boy, you basic. Boy, you basic. God uh, damn you. Did you do it? <laughs> Beautiful. Maybe. There should be some sort of penalty for two people saying the same thing at the same time. No, for the second person. Because you ain't quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... But if it's at the same time, who's the second person? Him. I was first. Oh, okay. Clearly. Dungeon Daddy's always first. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right, uh, where is the hand to hand stuff at? Pretty sexy stuff, man. 
Guys, I really want to level up before again before the end of Act. You gotta get it. You gotta get there. I'm gonna just fall off the chair. Fall off the chair. I was blown away by how wonderful everything's been going. Hey, hey Ramon. You know, some some people are like kings and such and don't have to worry about leveling up and such, right? Peasant. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before you level up. <laughs> Why are you giving Ermadin XP? He's level 8. <laughs> it's because I've got like... I don't know. I think I got like 13 negative XPs. Like 13 XP drops. And only one XP gain. Which is now two. Now that I'm looking at Mr. Good Devil over here. Like, that's my second XP gain ever. But literally, everybody has been dropping my XP. That's why I should still get XP. <laughs> you did in, in their defense. Huh? They're... Didn't you add, didn't you ask them to drop your XP? I dared them to. <laughs> They're gonna drop it to the level so that you're with everybody else. What? No. <laughs> no. no Alright, uh so for hand to hand <laughs> combat, uh Bruce you get uh one plus one uh action. Or attack per round. Of attacks instead of four, cool. That's sexy thing you're welcome pretty good all right and then i'll level all these other things all right uh, yeah we'll do the skills um afterwards can you have above 100 for your skills percentages no is 98 possible? is the highest it goes because there's always a chance of failure got it okay thanks so i do get new skills also i believe so Okay, don't worry about it. We'll follow up later. Thanks. Appreciate you doing that. Now I can function at level four. I don't. I probably won't use those skills, whatever they are, anyway. We'll see. Oh, what's, we'll oh, what's see. my new XP though? You know that? Uh, I don't know that. You, you okay. don't want to know. It's alright. Just live live your life and gain XP and just. Well, I'm gonna don't think level. about it. You don't need that. I, I, I'm not gonna look this level. That's no. true. I'm gonna it's going to be somewhere around 17,000. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Are you somewhere close to that, Armand? Uh, I, I am a little bit more than 6,000 and some experience away from leveling. That's actually not too far away. It's closer than I had thought I was. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, since I've played with you guys... I've gained a total of looks like 1,050 XP. Yes, and uh, when I started playing, I have 51,001 XP. Wow! Fuck off. <laughs> and my next up is 71,201 XP. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, get ready for level 9 Ermit in season 3 of Rifts. Yeah, <laughs> right? Let's go. Let's do this. All right, enough meta. All right. Sorry. Yes. You know yes, where you nice. are. What are you doing? I'm holding on to this ox for dear life. Yeah, the wind's still blowing, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. R R Rungus, I feel really awkward about this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to you as best I can. I'm gonna try to keep it away from the the under section. Uh, can, I, can I grab your horns? Uh, oh. I I I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna oh. assume it says yes. I'm gonna grab onto his horns. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, just confirming. <laughs> I'm 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 safe in my little hole, right? Yes. Uh. So you... Okay. So I don't really have to worry about much. No. You actually fell down into uh, a small hangar, actually. Remember, uh, it was uh, very far down, and you had that one really good roll that prevented you from taking any uh, real serious damage. Yeah. I, honestly, I thought that was from the last uh, uh, 
pit that we were in. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm underground. I'm still conscious, right? Yep. Yep. You're still conscious. You just had the okay. wind knocked out of um, you. That was the only thing that we did. Uh, I. I mean, can can you give me a description of the area, or would that be too much time, or? No, yeah, we can do that. So, um, from what you can see, you have a dark, you have some kind of dark vision or something, right? Yeah, I think it's 40, 45 feet. Um, okay. So, the only thing you can see above you... Uh, 90 feet. Okay. Oh, well then, yeah. So, you can see, um, you know, it looks like almost uh, like a... Uh, an area where, like, the end of an assembly line would have dumped off certain things. Uh, around you are uh, several hover cycles, uh, a suit of armor, um, all just kind of, like, lined up as if it was in preparation to go out. <laughs> so much machinery. <laughs> so many different metals and ores. Um, half of the hangar looks collapsed over time. So, right. um... You know, but but what's left is probably about, you know, eh, it's probably about a good hundred by you know, hundred and twenty, um, squared uh, off area down there. Hundred by hundred and twenty, like cube cube type area. Yeah, well, uh, just area, length and width. Okay. Height is you know, like I said, we were saying it was probably about, I think it was said like sixty seventy feet tall. As far as okay. drop is concerned. I have other questions, but we have more important things to do. How, how big is that hole that I fell through? Uh, it's not very big. Uh, I think we said it was like around 10 feet diameter. 10 feet? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, oh, my apologies. Uh, ah, crap. Um, sorry. Are we not allowed to curse on the stream, or... I don't know. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, you've okay. literally done it every single time, multiple times, maybe a minute. Yeah, I I don't think well. My apologies. <laughs> Neither do okay. I. It's cool. Uh, what, I what, I, what, what I want to do is shoot a flare up and try to shoot it through the hole to try to grab people's attentions uh, in, in the wind. Maybe it will, like, you know, shine and flash in that uh, hole that I was digging. Okay. To maybe get their attention to, like, hey, guys, over here. Um, Roll me a D20 for strike. D20 for strike. Uh... I have no weapon proficiencies for pistols or So you get players. no strike bonus, just a flat D20. No. Flat D20, whatever. Being able to roll something is better than not being able to roll anything at all. So here, here it comes. Lucky number 13. I'll take it. I don't care if I win or lose. All right. So you aim your flare gun up uh, through to the uh, 10 foot hole. You pull the trigger. It flies up. Starts its you know burning, uh, crackling sound mm -hmm. as it flies through the hole and gets taken by the wind and shot off into the air. Okay. Um. Everybody else can roll me a perception check. Who? I'll be, Everybody. I'll be loading up um, another two more, and I'll be firing them off as well. Um, just for future. Yeah. Let okay. them do their thing, Sam. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Are we all rolling perception? Yep. Uh, that's a twenty. What? Not a, not a, it's a, it's a dirty 20, 30. 20. All right. 
right, so let's see here. Runga Scott, 18. And nine. Nine. Um, and uh, roll your d20, and I think you get a bonus for perception. I won five bucks. See what I've got for your character sheet here. Emma, are you rolling? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. What, what are we rolling? D20. Sorry. Dogs and cats came up and I lost track of what I was doing. I apologize. <laughs> okay. That happens. Hey, while, em, while, while, while Em's rolling over here, we got the prediction in the chat, everybody. Will we make it to Madhaven this session? Be smart. <laughs> it was there and now it's not there anymore. I can't see it. I have to refresh or something. Just refresh. I put five minutes on, so it should still, like, stick around for a while. Uh, em, what'd you get? And you get plus two with it, too. Um, hold on. I, I don't. You got two first. I think I got took mine. I'm missing it. You have two of them. One's uh, like orange and white, and the other one's purple. I don't see yep. it. Okay. The orange and white one is gone. Hold on. Okay, you guys go. We already did. We're waiting on you. Oh, dude. Okay. Ah, uh, the channel point. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16? 16, is that with the plus two? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, most of you, except for Billy, actually, uh, see the flare come up through the floor, and then it just flies off into the wind. <laughs> I'm going to scream, what the fuck? We got fireworks now? <laughs> so, who's doing what? Can I, can I uh, see everyone else with me in the room minus Erm? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're all kind of okay. up there and squeezing into this Gosh. building. That, that, that might be Arm. He's the only person I don't see here. Who's got the loudest voice? Someone should scream down the hole. Uh, uh, perception check. <laughs> oh, you don't need it. You can hear it. It okay, echoes great. down to you very loudly. I hope so. I don't want to do that again. Can we see inside the hole? <laughs> yep. Yeah, Come it's a big hole. Down. Oh. It's, it's safe hole. in here. Come on down. Tie a roof. Is the wind still blowing really strongly and it's hard to walk around? Or yes. Tie a roof. Uh, Rungus is going to uh, go like this and motion towards his own neck to Dwyer to try to tell him to take off the oak. What do you want? What do you want, boy? What do you want? Uh, Timmy, Timmy trapped in a well? Uh, I think he needs to take a crap. Oh, well, uh, Rungus, this is not a time to go outside. Uh, oh, oh, the yolk, the yolk. Let me I, I take the yolk off, and I'm still riding him, by the way. All right. Oh, he morphs oh, back oh, into Rungus oh, form, and you're sitting on his shoulders. Uh, <laughs> Put me down. Off. I can't. You're like eight feet tall. Uh, fine. I'm going to bend over and let him get off. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, we have to we have to go down that hole. I heard Erm Erm in down there. He survived, obviously. How far rope. down is the hole? It's like seventy feet drop, seventy foot drop. Do I um do I have enough left in my jetpack to like ferry everyone down one at a time? I can levitate myself down. I've got fifty feet. Uh, the only thing you would have That's difficult broke. with is uh Rungus and Chombo. I could take care. I could take care of Rungus and Chombo. Can't uh, can't they shrink down the size? Rungus can, yeah. Rungus can, yeah. Yeah, so if you can take care of Chombo. 
me see if there's a limitation to my levitation. Uh -huh. Oh, dear alliteration. Ermitin fell 70 feet and was fine. Yep. It was a miracle. It's because he was. That uh, is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be hurt until he sobers up. <laughs> so true. That's probably uh, true. Possibly. <laughs> He'll be sore tomorrow. <laughs> well, he's when he sobers up, so years from now he might feel it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with how yeah. Ermitin drinks, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna chat. Please drink responsibly. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> just be, just because I don't be an Ermitin. That, yeah, don't be <laughs> Ermitin. Ermitin is very lucky. And it is very fortunate where he just doesn't have to do things. And that's not real life. And tip your servers. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, of course. You know? And yeah. honestly, whatever you decide to tip them, just throw an extra dollar. You know? Honestly, you know, it's just one dollar to you, but, like, <laughs> it's one dollar more that affects their lives. And that's just, your just Riff's to, per, just public service announcement. I will remember <laughs> you. Just tip 20%, guys. 20%. No. Super simple. Move the just one dollar a day could support your local server. Move the decimal <laughs> spot over one time and then multiply that number by two. You've got 20%. Boom. Super easy. Don't need a calculator. Tip your server. Also, right. learn how to do basic math. Yeah, you should be able to figure out what a fucking I feel like this group sometimes doesn't know how to do basic math. <laughs> challenge, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are we at with that levitation, Holmes? I can't, I can't find levitation for whatever reason. It says it's a level five invocation spell. Invocation. Yep. Yeah. Gonna make me break out the book of magic. Yeah, I, you might have to. How about, how about for the sake of time, we just say he can do it. <laughs> I'm not that nice. You know, I, I like that. Life blast. I lost Ermitin. Then... I still see him. Yeah, he has gone nowhere. Yeah, I do too. He's muted. Okay, right. level five. Wait, you lost me visually, or? Yeah. Well, just me. I, I clicked something like a dummy. Okay, sorry. How are you doing? Curious. I'm going to phone. Oh, you're. I see. All right, here we go. Levitation up to sixty feet. Um, three minutes per level of experience. Sixty feet. That's not the full way. Well, it's 60, up to sixty feet away as far as his range is concerned. Oh, I see. Okay. Like you wouldn't be able to levitate Erm Ermadin up mm -hmm. because he's too far away. Got it. Uh, and that was the vocal of the magic to raise himself or other people or an object straight into the air. Weight restriction is 200 pounds plus 20 pounds per level. So, yeah, you should be fine. Okay, cool. I'll just have to do it one at a time, but that's cool. I'm just going to jump. I'm going to go ahead and jump down the hole. About. I'm going to wait until well, I'm like halfway down the, the hole before I. The problem with that. Um. So the maximum height is 60 feet, plus 10 feet per, oh, plus 10 feet per level. So what level are you, three or four? Level four. All right. So, yeah, you got 90 feet. You can do that. Um, however, the range is only 60 feet. So once you're down, you're, I'm gonna, you wouldn't I'm be able to reach. Look, I'm going to look Chombo in the eyes, and I'm going to be like, look, I know we've had our differences in the past. All right, you lying sack of... <laughs> chicken you wait for me to holler for you and just trust me and jump down the hole chombo jump down the hole and then i'm gonna jump down the hole i'm gonna wait till i'm about halfway down the hole and then i'm gonna levitate myself Squire, hey, quick, quick to take nala with you okay uh ermadin roll your uh flare shot thing again too my second flare yep, shot. your second flare shot well, that was my question. Yep. Do I see them coming down 
before I fire off nope, the Nope, that's why I'm asking him to use your flare shot. <laughs> you okay. said you were unloading your flare gun. Yeah, I rolled a four this time. All right, so it shoots off. It doesn't actually go through the hole. Uh, flies right by Dwyer, who's on his way down, and hits into the ceiling. And I see him. Now you do, because the flare just do went right him? by him. Oh, Jesus, Great. man. I'm, I'm not going to shoot any more flares. Okay. When I get to the bottom... But the good news is the uh, the room is a little bit more lit up for people who can't see. That's good. What do, what do we see? We see a hangar filled with bikes, and we can't see all that from up there in the hole. We can see Ermadin, though, probably, yeah. right? Yeah, you can see... Well, yeah, you can see him. We he looks really him. tiny down there. I have, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I have two questions. Yep. This opportunity. Uh, one, do I no, see the yes, rope that they're see. climbing down? What was that? Do I see the rope that they're climbing down? There's no rope. He's There's not no rope yet. This isn't gym no, class. They're not climbing down at all? Uh, Dwyer just jumped down. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, um, uh, oh. uh, Dungeon Master, I definitely did just send you a private message via Roll20. Ooh, well, you know what? Everybody else hold on. So. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can't see that message. That's I, why it's that's private. That's the whole point. I want to see, I want to see. <laughs> just remember, good I devil, see. you did this. You took away my experience, and you oh. did this. Oh, there was an experience oh. drop. Hmm? What? Someone hmm? dropped X Boom! Experience drop. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see here. All right. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, Chombo uh, did not follow your instructions. Of course He's not. just up there, kind of looking around. The wind's starting to I'm push him, so he's kind of like starting to slide across the floor and. His claws Someone are kind of... Someone push Chombo down! Push Chombo down! Push him down? Yes, oh, I will oh. save him! What? Once I see them, I will set down five flares in, like, a big circle on the ground. Okay. So they have some light of the ground that we're at. Alright. Can I, can I give uh, Chombo a push? Yeah. Uh, roll me, uh, roll me a d20. I'm gonna help him. Do I need to roll as well? Um, no, just as long as he doesn't get a one, he should be fine. Oh, I already... I hope okay. I don't have to roll my d20. Close. <laughs> so, no, I mean, you know, the wind's really blasting you guys, and it's, and it's really tough, and, you, and it takes the both of you guys to push very hard. Uh, to get Chombo into that hole. Um, Come on, check it! <clears throat> in fact, where's my... Uh, let's see here. Rungus, stick your thumb in its butt. What? No! What's with you in the butt? <laughs> no! Push it! At this point, you see, like, medium-sized trees getting uprooted. Um... Hey, Nat, am I... Am... Can, can, can you tell? I want to. I want to do something when Chombo finally goes over the edge. Well, hold on, because there's something that's coming. Or just before he does. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You even see like an old uh, car that was kind of like you know, like the insides were all rotted and and it was you know, half overgrown. Just start to roll like a tumbleweed. Um. Let's see here. Where is the percentage I'm looking for? Just to let you know, uh, there was uh, raisins. Yeah. Summon. What? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Raisins? Raisunos. Are they California? Life-saving amount of raisins at the bottom of the pit. Beautiful. Love that. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And ladies. So, um... Can't even punish people for their bad behavior, man. Can't even punish people. This is what 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 world are we living in? Hmm? So here's uh, you guys uh, start pushing Jumbo. Uh, you get him to the edge. 
Um, the winds have picked up so dramatically that if you guys aren't holding on to something, you are going to fly away. Um, that's more for, uh, for Billy and Nala. Uh, Chombo does get pushed into the hole, but you guys are, are basically flat on the floor at this point. Um, with your efforts to try to push him in. Oh, I wanted to grab him. Okay. Um, what's your, uh, your PP? 12? Well, that's a very personal All right, roll me a d20. I want to try to grab him, so, and then turn to six inches size and, and follow him into the hole on his back. D20, he said. I like... Billy, Adam's suggestion, but this is a little bit more dramatic. I got 11. The second one doesn't count. That's what they all say. Right, it only rolled once. It, it, it only rolled once. <laughs> Never mind. So, so the one did count. All right. I was 11. I rolled an 11. So uh, due to the heavy amount of wind, you are unable to accomplish that. Um... What's up? Nothing. Now, um, the heavy downpour rain is started to mix with raisins. So, uh, equal amounts of raisins and, and rain pouring down on top of you guys. Uh, raisins again! Uh. Every time! It's possible, but, uh, yeah, it hurts. They're coming down hard. Oh, okay. Oh, God, it's a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> um, let's oh. see. Where's your nose? Uh, where did, uh, are, are the rain residents on top of the surface, or are they, like, spawning? Oh, yeah, no, down where that hole was, I mean, yeah. raisins and, and everything, water, all that's coming down. Okay, so the raisins didn't didn't just come down from the sides or anything. No, 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 it's outside from the yeah, yeah from, from the weather. The hole. But it's coming from the hole, yeah. Okay, I pictured that so much differently. I'm okay with this. Good luck, guys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Nala and try to jet jetpack us down safely. Down All right. Do uh, you have a piloting thing for that jetpack? Piloting skill. Um, I have hover cycle. Mm, not quite the same thing, but go ahead. Roll uh, percentage dice. Uh, so you grab her and you begin to, uh, start to push forward with your jetpack. Um, the wind, uh, picks you up and actually starts to pull you, uh, up into the air. Both of you. Oh, oh, oh no, we're flying. This is not good. Uh. I don't want to go to Oz. <laughs> Mm -hmm. thinking. Uh, Don't I have um, gymnastics, so can't I, like, backflip and gracefully land and try and catch him? Is that wait, something? Are, are, how, how high have we... Sorry. Yes. Good question. How At high are At this point, we? I mean, you use the jetpack. Um, if you want to do, like, a quick action to, uh, you know, to use acrobatics uh, before you get too far up, but very soon you're going to be about... Uh, about 60 feet in the air. Sorry, I missed something. Is it just yes. Nala and him yep. that are You're in the You're still air on the floor, you know, by the, the hole. So, are they, are they slowly flying away, or? Quickly, because Quickly. they're using a jetpack. So, they're out of range. I think we're just holding on for dear life. Yeah. So, did you want to do something, Nala? 
Um, I want to try to use my, um, uh, really all I have is, is gymnastics mm -hmm. and running. Wait, I have running an idea. my ass off. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, how how far are they in that? Well, she has she has to do a quick action if she wants to. So right now she's close, but okay. you already did your action. So by the time okay. you get to do something after her, they'll be about sixty feet away. Okay, good to know. Thanks. Okay, so am I able to? Um, uh, I have. Um, backflip climbing am I able to do any of that to, to try and, and get us uh, like out of this am I able to is there any like is there any trees or anything that I can try and grasp onto and like gracefully or ungracefully it really doesn't matter uh, try and, and like claw onto something like and use my my like tumbling skills to try and like land and then grab him is that something I can do um, I'm not sure about that. You would probably be able to use, like, you'd probably be able to use him as leverage to, like, jump off of him. And, you know, you could either aim for something that you can grab okay. onto or aim for the hole if you want to just dive in, but. Always aim okay. for the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so if I do that, then what happens uh, It would him? just. Am I no. him with me? So You'd be what, using him so as leverage, so you would be pushing this. off of him to do this. <laughs> so basically, I'm like, thanks for helping. Peace yeah. out. <laughs> I probably deserve that on some level. No, you don't. No. Is there any way I can, like, save my own ass while also saving his? Um... Uh, I feel like... No, and sometimes that's what happens. <laughs> oh, but I ain't gonna do both. Um, wow. I... <sighs> Actually, you know what? Let me... I'm, really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. meta for a okay. second here uh, because I forgot to announce okay. in the beginning that, Billy, you do have two skill check bonuses. So if we actually want to rewind a little bit, and if we want to use both of those, <laughs> you right. I thought you didn't. I do keep track, track of those. those. All right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, is that the XP that you don't? XP, keep track I do of? not. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... Oh, what a what a coincidence! I just happened to have <laughs> seventeen thousand four hundred twenty-one XP. Filthy lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so I'll roll the, the D100 again. No, you don't have to. The, the two skill bonuses that you have would, get, yeah, well, it's would enough. be enough. Okay. Don't I worry. We... And I also have a suggestive I have not forgotten. <laughs> yep. I think we should throw Rungus down the hole and into the other hole. I think I think the only person up there with Rungus is Rungus. At this point, <laughs> yes. So uh, hey, so the wind starts here. to take your jetpack a little bit. You're able to correct it, and you do this awkward dive into uh, into the hole and down to the floor. Uh, not a graceful landing, but you know you'll practice. You'll get better. Nobody was hurt. No That's one was injured in the. Uh, the yeah landing all right um um mr billy you got some xp there. meanwhile nice thank thank you meanwhile chombo is falling thanks brother to the ground fast do i see chombo falling? yes oh okay uh i'm actually gonna try something because my character is somewhat like Shumbo. <laughs> um, oh, was I supposed to, to? Oh, oh, I don't think I have enough. And Dwyer, Dwyer, you're the only <laughs> other one with a uh, skill check uh, or skill bonus on my list. Oh no! Did I lie to that lying sack of chicken? <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> I don't even trust you. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to help Shumbo, so. I, in fact, 
change my mind and do nothing to help Jumbo. <laughs> Sorry. If there was something I could do... Jumbo begins to flap his wings frantically uh, as he's falling. While he's doing that, can I try to move raisins out of the way to leave some nice hard <laughs> earth underneath Chombo? Uh, sure. There's a lot of raisins though, so. I'll use I'll use a. Uh, <laughs> and Atlas says you better not kill her chicken. Kill the chicken. <laughs> oh, don't don't <laughs> worry. Same, same uh, Chombo. I'm gonna use telekinesis to push as funny. much of the rate pile of raisins out of. Okay. Out of here as possible. Like a steamroller, you're able to just okay. shove them off to the side. I, I, I used more magic to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, Back to Rungus. I can a lot. Okay. So Rungus is on the ground. It, um, it, just to recap, um, <laughs> Billy made Billy it. Billy go down the hole. But Nala's flying through the air still? No, I got her. Oh, okay. Just so you know. Just me up here. Oh, and Katarina. All right. Can't forget about Katarina. Oh, yeah. Katarina's still up there. Oh, yeah. She's with us still. I forgot about All that. All right. I'm going um, to take my 50 foot of nylon rope and tie it to the most secure thing close by. I'm guessing it's part of the building. I'm guessing the windows or something. Some part of the building. I'm going to test it. Make sure. Well, I guess I, if I stand up, I'm gonna start blowing away, aren't I? Um, is there anything on the ground around me that I could tie it to and secure it to? Do I see um, anything? Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, mostly what's around you, you know, is uh, flooring and, and wood and, and some concrete and stuff from underneath of that. So. All right. Uh, so Rungus is gonna. Nothing really that All right. you know is particularly that sound. All right, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take the rope out of my bag and tie it around my waist and say, "Katarina, come over here." And purge her over towards okay. me. I want to tie this on you and lower you into the hole. All right. Okay. And she will follow your instruction. It puts okay. the lotion on its so skin. I'm gonna tie tie the rope on her and then I'm gonna <laughs> tie it around her neck. The hole. On the other end. But, but me as the way. Said neck. Neck. You said neck. neck. Well, it was like the two. Wow. No, I did not say that. Like, like, I said around you her. You sound like nipple. To be fair, you guys would... she hasn't been helpful. Not tired of being breath. All right. <laughs> oh, my. So, so we're, we're going to tie it's it to a natural. Dark. If we need details, we'll, we'll tie it underneath her shoulder. Just throwing you guys off. Around her chest. So yes, I guess across her nipples. <laughs> no. But not in an uncomfortable way. I mean, it's a rope. It's going to be uncomfortable. But I'm oh, using myself as the, the counterweight. Wait, did you say not in an uncomfortable way? Well, I don't. I don't know if there is any way to make that comfortable. It's a rope tied around. Yeah, I was say, I, I'm not sure there. There is such a thing. And we need and every. every that, that, but that's all a different show. It so. depends on who you She's ask. Just on the rope, so there's honest. not as much chafing. But let's move on. Oh. You <laughs> secure her, and you're Somebody trying knows to. Somebody knows a whole lot about that right now. <laughs> you're trying to let her down, in a good way. <laughs> down the hole. <laughs> yes. What are we? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are you trying to use, we're trying to maintain the, the, the length of rope, the maximum amount of length, length of rope to get her down the hall. All right. So yes. you're using yourself as the anchor. Yeah, is, is that what you're saying? Just... Yeah, she's little okay. and I'm big. Did you roll for the uh, rope to nipple <laughs> ratio? No, we don't need to roll. No, no. I did not roll. Can no, I roll right. for that, Matt? Not a ratio. All right. Let me. All right. It is. No. <laughs> nice rolling usually means experience. What's that? Usually. Nice rolling usually means experience. Uh, usually. If it's a skill check, yeah. Or a magic ability. I kind of treat them the same way. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, you're able to, uh, you're able to get the, the rope around her, uh... 
and you know, like I said, use yourself as an anchor. Uh, so now she uh, jumps in the hole and is basically dangling down. How far? How long is your rope? It's fifty feet, so minus about probably five or six feet wrapped around her bodies. So probably about forty-five feet. Okay. Forty-four down the hole. She's dangling there. I'm hoping that she can see everyone below, and then they can come up with a solution to get her the rest of the way. They can probably catch her at that height. They could. Do, do I something, have Do something down there! I am. I'm moving all these raisins out of Chombo's Fall. <laughs> no! Leave the raisins! They, they can... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they can break Katarina's fall. Honestly, do I see any of this? Like, do I see yep. her dangling yep. there? You have the cavern pretty well yeah. lit up. <laughs> yes, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like looking up like, oh, would you look at that? Yeah. <laughs> I was just curious because like, right now I can either, I'm going to pull out a 150 foot rope cord, uh, a heavy cord. And then look at the caved-in area and see, would it be easier to get out of here through a rope up top or digging through that area? A little rope up top, for sure. Yeah. Literally up top? Or Dwyer doesn't dig, just so you know. I'm going to unwind the cord, unwind the cord and be like, I'm going to throw this up. Take this and anchor it up top. All right, roll me a. Uh, Sorry, what up? What are you throwing <laughs> up? Roll me a d uh, twenty for a strike, with no bonuses. I don't not get one. A single bonus. Not one. What, not what one. Hammer? It's at my hip. Oh, not the right. goddamn one. If he's oh, short, okay. if he's short, I can I can tell. Well, him he's, he's a dwarf. Of course, he's short. Using up all my PPE. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Couldn't get any uh, better of a shot. Right into Katarina's hand, she's able to tie yep. that rope onto the other yep. rope. Um, so that now you have a rope that extends the full length of this cavern. One end on Rungus, the other uh, in your hands. And I'm yep. going to say, I've never seen someone so small throw so much rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look over smirk and then just not say anything <laughs> leave you to wonder Rungus roll me a dodge <laughs> at negative five dodge alright um, for some reason it's not letting me pick my dice for some reason I don't know what I'm doing wrong here so I just rolled a d20 is that right so we'll just apply it. it normally, it lets me. It brings yeah. up pops a little That's box, but it's weird. not letting me. So I rolled a six. My dodge is. Hang on, I got I got some bonuses yep. to dodge. I got plus four to dodge. Negative so five. Said, yeah, negative five. Minus so something. minus one. Okay, so, yeah. so just minus one. So I got a five. Five. Okay, you get hit by a uh, by a tree that is flying through the air. Um. The full, full force, force of the, of the tree, tree, or just like a piece of the tree. <laughs> uh, Remember, it's not see. that the wind is blowing; it's what the wind is blowing. And the roof gets it's, ripped okay. off so of I that building. It. The rest of the roof that was there. Um, it's like a tree. A tree just comes like pulverizing oh. through. Uh, what's oh, left it. of that that structure? Yeah. Um, I suspect that. Yeah, I'm deep. looking for. Uh, 6d6 damage. 6d6 regular damage against, against your my armor. armor or me? Uh, I'll roll it. Okay. Thanks. I don't know what's going on my roller. I'm just going to re restart this thing. Um, so now I was just looking at the other 20. thing. thing. It said that like there are 20 yep. damage against my armor. Okay. So I saw a thing. I don't know if this is. Yes. Can you could just clarify this. It said. It was saying that there's a. Um, there are restrictions on magic if you're wearing armor? Yes, certain armors. Uh, so you want to wear, like, a light armor? Yeah, it's like clothing or, like, material, like, like cloth type or, like, leather or anything that's not metal. Yeah, if you're wearing fully environmental suit, 
that's the kind of stuff that affects your armor. Yeah. So I'm always wearing your that, environmental suit. Not... Yeah. Yeah. BA. So that would cause you uh, some trouble with your with your spell casting. Okay. So I should only be wearing that if I need it. Correct. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, I'm not casting any spells right now, so I'll keep, keep that yep. in mind moving forward. All right. Uh, who's doing what next? Just have a rope. I'm wearing clothes underneath the armor, so that's good. Okay, get off, I'm not naked, so that's good. No one so where... That. No, you're good. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Where I'm you I'm and uh, Billy are now down at the bottom. So what you guys are okay. seeing what is uh, Katarina dangling down from a rope with another rope attached to it. She's untying herself and working her way down, so she's, you know getting to the bottom uh okay, yeah so rungus good. uh you can That's kind of good. barely see part of his hands like hanging on to the uh the side of the hole um okay. rain and raisins okay. are are just coming down still from the hole and pelting anybody that's in that area or uh or smashing into the floor it's turning into a Nasty little goop. Secure. Do I have enough left in my jetpack to go get a shrunken rungus? You can try. I'm gonna secure my end of the roof. All right, let's try. Rungus, Rungus, don't worry. I'm coming for you, man. I'm not gonna let you get hyped. No, 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 don't. (laughs) Don't do it. I'm coming down. Do I get an action? Can I use? Can I just turn myself? Can I just pull myself into the hole and then turn myself small as I'm falling? Yes. Oh, I want to do that. And then before I, before I turn myself small as I'm as I'm falling, I want to say, "Catch me!" <laughs> okay. Did you secure the rope to anything, or is it just still around you? It's just. Oh god. No, just <laughs> okay. <laughs> So. There's so much going on right now, I cannot keep track. I'm so, sick. Rungus screams down to everybody, Catch me! Disappears, so nobody can actually see him. Because <laughs> he's so small now. Nice. nice. Uh, but you do see the rope falling down. Oh, right, because it's not attached to anything now. Alright, so I'm going I'm to see if I can fly up and catch him. Alright. Uh, roll me percentage for your skill check. For the skill. No, just Are we all doing that? You don't have a jetpack. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, but I want one. 63. Uh, so you fly up and, uh, kind of slam into the wall. And then just kind of like slide back down to the floor. <laughs> uh, take um. No. On me. Take ten points of damage to your armor. On. <laughs> At least the rope is down. Yeah, the rope's on the floor now. Rungus is is uh falling. Falling. Anybody else want to try anything? I'm still, I'm still waiting to see what happens to Chombo. Oh, Chombo, uh, oh, no. Chombo kind of glides time. down with his, you know, like it looks like the most ungraceful thing, you know, chickens do, and that's flap their wings uh, uh, helplessly. But his wings Why aren't he clipped, so he can actually down kind him. of glide and get down without injury. Is he pulling the ropes down? Uh, well, him? the rope was around him. He shrunk, so the rope fell off and is just on the ground now. What about the one yeah. that Armadin so threw um, it's up? On it's the tied ground, to it. It's to tied to down. it. And uh, basically, just the rope just falls on Katarina at this point, who had worked her way down from climbing down it. So it's not linked up yep. top anymore? No. <laughs> 
perception is a little rash. <laughs> in I'm literally gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a moment. I'm, I'm throwing down the roof. I'm grabbing my mug and filling it up. And I'm having a beer break. I, I don't care. I don't care anymore right now. Did you ever care about having? What a was it he had to say last time? Something yeah. about liking ribbons in his hair and. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl. It, it depends on the situation, right? My hair. Sometimes I get hyped up. Sometimes it's just like now I just don't care. No. He has two ribbons now to put in his hair. Pretty ribbons. That's true. Yeah, you made him some. Oh. Yes, he oh. did. <laughs> they were very beautiful. No, they're 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 up top there. Um, I I guess you you decided not to roll perception check, but I dropped them five minutes after you gave them to me. <gasps> oh, rude. That's rude. You shouldn't say you like things, and right. then when someone gives you the things that you say you like. No hurtful. No hurtful. I thought you were better than that. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Um. Not at all. Sorry, it just <laughs> it's tricky okay, time for yeah. Urban in right now. You guys Urban, do your you thing. You can change your mind whenever you want, right? Yeah, I whatever. <laughs> I don't even care what you said. I'm drinking right now, just. But anyway, after I've finished two cups of beers, I'm gonna go collect my rope. Okay. Yep. Uh, so Dwyer and Nala. I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Um, I can. Can I? Can I Block see? Can I roll out. a perception check to Please see if I do. see tiny Rungus? For Rungus's sake. <laughs> uh, is eleven enough? Mm. No, not really. I say twelve is the number, but you're like one off. I'm like. Mm. What if I use C aura? Would I be able to use C aura to see his aura? Uh, it would uh, illuminate things a little for you, sure. Let me let me do that. But you already failed your perception check, right? Yeah, so I can't see you, but I know that if I cast C aura, I'll be able to see a little tiny. I'm assuming blue dot. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta use spells very creatively. Mm -hmm. And if I do see him, then I would like to use uh, what is cheaper, levitation or tell? Levitation is cheaper. I'll use levitation to slowly bring the blue blob down. All right. So Rungus, as you uh, see the floor coming quicker and quicker to you, <laughs> it seems evident bad choices were made. Uh, suddenly, you start to become almost light as a feather, and slowly oh, oh, work your way to the floor. Oh. As I get close to the floor, I'd like to return right. to full size. If I oh, there's raisins, raisins everywhere. But they're mushy raisins, because they're also wet. Yeah. I pick up. A handful, show them in my mouth, and say, oh, thanks Now uh, your hand and face are all sticky. Anytime. <laughs> uh, and now you got a uh, experience boost from Good Devil. Oh, thank you. Well, I think a taste for these raisins. Something about these raisins tastes special. I don't know what it is. They taste foul, if you ask me. <laughs> Somewhat godlike. Like they were brought on the winds of something nefarious. Did you say Harry? <laughs> no. Nefarious, he said, but Harry. <laughs> All right. So. Well, thanks, Barb. You have successfully uh, I hate to say I owe you got out of the uh, the dangerous winds of the hurricane, uh, but you hear it raging above you. The wind, uh, obviously, getting stronger and even stronger. Um, I can't believe we all survived that. Oh my god, I'm going to sound so dumb real quick. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, please, um, <laughs> tell, tell us more. On Twitch, uh, curse words, are they uh, blanked out? Sometimes. Yeah. It depends on your personal preferences. Like, if you change your settings, then they won't be. Okay. I think it defaults I, to uh, to that. Yeah, I have the kid settings on, so it's like... I'm trying to understand what they actually said and meant. And it's just right. like, I can't... It blocks some it weird out. stuff sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah. Atlas does have a redemption that she uh, she really really wants before the storms oh, did over. Did I miss something? There's actually two. They were back to back. I see. There's the one liner. I'm sure, it's there. For Rungus. Oh, good. It's right above that. the one liner. And oh, yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, as, as you guys are, are kind of getting yourselves together, uh, you kind of hear this loud, uh, noise, uh, start to build up louder and louder as you, uh, look up and you see this flying cow mooing desperately as, uh, it flies past the hole. Or we've got cows. Is that one of us? <laughs> no, no, it's not one of us. Okay. Oh, thank God. I can't believe we all survived that fall into this hole. Wait, w were one of us a cow? Well, the, the, the ox thing. I was oh. an ox not ten minutes ago. That's kind of like a cow. That's like a small cow. <laughs> Is it a small cow or a big cow? Oh, I thought it was big bigger. A cow. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Well, maybe it was a small op. That, that, Who knows? It could have it moved. I don't think the ox is actually moved. Uh, no, you, you might be right on that one. Might have been moving up, up on top of the hole. I don't think uh, I've ever seen an ox. I can't. What are you talking about? We've so, all been an ox. <laughs> uh, ox are generally uh, larger than uh, bulls, which are male cows, so... The male yeah. cows are bigger than the female cows, so. And that Some... is your learning moment for the day. Yeah, that's your educational. Cows on our way out here. Well, I um I may have made a rash decision and jumped down the hole before I tied the rope. Uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this hole. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Is that a bike? There's a stuff in here. Can I can I look around and see stuff? That you no. can. Except no, you're, you're blind. Um, let me think here. Who would know? <laughs> so, uh, Nala. Yeah. You would be familiar with the things in here. Billy would be familiar. Ooh. Um, to the rest of you, you know, you know that there are hover cycles. There's four hover cycles. Um, with a uh. A wall of raisins that got pushed up against them. No, no it's the raisins. <laughs> Big ones, small ones, arrows appear out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nal, you'd know these things as uh, some old northern gun hover cycles. It's a manufacturer. Um, pretty decent value to them. This would be something that would interest your employers. Uh, and uh, then. You know, already. Okay, What's that? Gotcha. So yeah, I'm yeah. ready to steal everything immediately. <laughs> and then the other is the uh, giant suit of power armor, uh, referred to as a glitter boy. Ooh, Ooh. I like glitter boys. Its uh, surface is completely chrome. Yeah, they sell for a lot. Yeah, they do. Uh, it's it, uh, it's completely chrome uh, body armor that uh, lasers, because it's chrome, lasers only do half damage to it because they reflect off. And uh, they carry what's called a boom gun. And this boom gun is almost the size, the, the its length is almost the height of the armor itself. And when it's fired, the glitter bar armor has to actually shoot pylons out of the feet of the armor into the ground to help it stay stabilized 
or it would get uh, blown back itself. It'd get blown off its own feet. So big armies uh, off to pay a lot of money for suits of armor like this. Okay. But this so is an I'm early like, model design. Immediately, I, I'm like trying to shove this in my bag. Is that what you're saying? Well, these are going to be too big to fit in your bag. It's going to be uncomfortable. Fit. I am immediately. This suit of armor is probably twice or three times your size. You could try yeah. spitting on it first, but I, they probably won't work. <clears throat> you have more <laughs> success hiding yourself inside of it than. Yeah, I was. I I didn't know if how big my bag was and how little the armor. So can I can I um can I put the armor on? Uh, you can get inside of it. Uh, however, piloting it is something you would need a skill to do. Uh, but I don't have any skills. Not in power armor, no. Unfortunately. No. Not in anything at all, really. You got lots of skills. Um, yeah, but nothing that helps in anything that we've gone through so far. That I have pilot hovercraft skill. Would I know so, if this I is the scale, fly by these? The way. Huh? This is the scale, by the way. Okay, okay. That is uh, definitely way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, oh, okay. I don't. I don't think that they make a booster seat for those. <laughs> <laughs> they should. How about? Do we have phone books around? Can I? Can I get some phone books to, to sit on? <laughs> no. Take that as a no. Okay. No phone books in the hangar. Oh. Hey. Do I recognize this glitter boy? Uh, no, no. This is an older model. Okay. Like, uh, so you can recognize it as a glitter boy armor, but uh, you know, it doesn't look like any specific one that you've seen before. Okay, can, that's good. Can I Nobody wander around I've and known oh, right. this side? Can, um, can I wander around and see if uh, I sense any, like, magic from any items in here that I would be interested in? Uh, there is no magic in here. Um, Rungus is magic. Is my... oh, I am magic, <laughs> yep. Do is I, there, is... do I... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, dude, with my... Because I have a hovercraft hover bike, does that apply? And yes. Would I be able to tell these whether we could fly these out of the hole? Um, I mean, you could try turning them on. You know how to it's function them, so. Somewhere. I, but I guess what I'm asking is, is my experience with hovercrafts, and I don't know this personally, like, is 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 as a hovercraft or a hover bike something you could fly vertically like that up the edge of a hill, up edge of a um... hill? But Not typically. They do have a height range that they can go because obviously they hover. Uh, but let me let me take a second to see exactly what the height is um, that these things can go. I don't know that it's going to get that high. Yeah, Usually, high. I think it's like 30, 40 feet or something. What if we stack them on top of each other so we have one hover car going 30 feet in the air and then a hover car on top of that one? Going another 30 feet. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. It's like steps. Mm. Yeah. Except that's not how physics works. I secured that. (laughs) It would be extremely unstable. Hey, there's magic in this world, okay? Don't tell me that I can't stack two hover cars on top of each other. I can't tell you anything. (laughs) Only the GM can. But I'm telling you right now that. That's not how physics works. <laughs> can we see I sent I send a telepathic message to Ermadin. Yes, I oh, know no. that's not how physics works. That's not how anything works here. <laughs> nope, nope. That's all metagame. Can we see any exits? Uh, the yeah, like I said, the uh, the half of the hangar is actually collapsed, uh, and that's the half that would have led to anything else. Uh, you know, to to get oh. out of here. So yes, is there anything was, else? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, since we <clears throat> lost our rope up top, I wanted to figure out which was the best way to start digging out of here. Um, and that would be using underground tunneling uh, or underground ar- architecture. 
either or. Um, and then I just want to start digging ourselves back out of here. So, um... After, after I did all 150 feet of my heavy cords. Does anybody have, like, history or pre-rift cities or anything like that? No. So, like, Say that again? Uh, <clears throat> I asked if anybody has a skill like lore, uh, pre-rift cities, or history, or something like that. I have history pre rifts I thought somebody did. Nice. Uh, go ahead and roll that skill. Fuck to be like a one, or a two, or a three. Well, that that's good. That's what you yeah. want. On a, on a skill check. Uh, I got a 47, and my target was... Uh, well, I have, it, there's two numbers here. So I have 52 and 44. I don't know which one's which. Okay. So I also have history. <clears throat> okay, roll yours as well. You might get a better roll. Am I rolling the, uh, the, the right one? Uh, the two, the dice together. One with the double numbers and one with the single numbers. Okay. Oh. Doesn't sound like a very good O. <laughs> no. Um, I got 52 and 20 and a 1. Oh, 21? Oh, that's much better than yeah. my roll. So, uh, yeah, you would recognize this as uh, early, uh, not pre-rifts, but early rifts um, built hangar. So, it's got mega damage as far as uh, the material for the hangar itself and the supports and everything. But uh, it's not uh, it's not as strong as what they currently have. Okay. Um, however, if somebody were to go digging, it would obviously take much longer to do that than it would be to try to dig through the already collapsed part. Okay. So... Meta, Ar Armand, I believe you have the magic ox yoke, so if you would put that in your inventory, I don't have it anymore. Um, in the panic, I didn't hold on to it. I just kind of tossed it off to the side. I took it off of you, and the wind was blowing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You should be. That is such a powerful item. Oh Rungus my. is, Rungus is gonna, or not Rungus. Uh, Dwyer's gonna walk over to um, uh, one of the hover cars and i'm just he's gonna start pushing it and I'm like come on guys help me get this hover car on top of the other hover car it's the only way we're gonna get out of here wait no dwyer stop Dude, <laughs> don't don't tell me what i can't do just no, I, you can do whatever you want but just listen do you hear that raging hurricane above the hole i am in, not in a hurry to go back up there above the hole well, I, we should be prepared we don't know what's down here we could test them, I agree. But I don't think we should try to leave this hole yet. Well, you make a good point. I think we should rest up here, maybe help Hermit in if he wants to dig out, or work on the bikes and try try to see if we can use these bikes to get out of the hole. Uh, Dw Dwyer doesn't dig. Oh, fair enough. You know, I, I have another alternative option. Um, I'm thinking what we could do is uh, you could rest... Restore some of your magic energy. I stop listening and I just go immediately find a nice comfy place to lay down. I'm like, yeah, I, you, you got it. You got it, boss. The uh, most comfy place pressed... you can find is probably on a pile of raisins. <laughs> I make Sounds a little raisin healthy. pillow. Or a flat spot on the floor. One of the two, depending yeah. on your preference. I sleep on the flat spot of the floor, but I gather up some raisins to use as a pillow. Okay. Since he went to sleep, I'm going to turn to the rest of the group a little bit offended, but not that offended. <laughs> you told me to go to sleep. All right, so after he wakes up, Billy, you're listening, right? Billy? Billy! <laughs> what? 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 So, what? It's one other person should hear this plan. So <laughs> when Dwyer wakes up, we will encourage him strongly to use his levitation to lift us, one of us up, preferably me, but or could be you, 
uh, one of us up as high as possible. That person should have my magic underwear. Wait, that won't work. Okay, so never mind. So here's here's the plan. So one person will be levitated. The other person will be holding a six-inch person using my magic underwear. The person who is not six inches will throw the other person while holding the rope as far as they can, hopefully over the edge of the hole. A naval person will secure it in a non-hurricane environment and allow us all to climb up. What do you think about that? Screw it. You only live twice. That's right. Ermanen, you still have that rope tied is, together? Is this, can we tell if the storm is still going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still raging. Yeah, well, well we might want to hold that big guy because uh, I don't think we want to go up there now. No, I agree. I agree. I think it's time to rest the party. Maybe explore the bikes, see if they work. Maybe there's another way to use can, these bikes. Can I use my military etiquette to see if I can find any like hidden stuff that I might know about? Um... Yeah, I mean, you can look around. I mean, you know, uh, there might be some commonalities to something like that in the hangar, a military base or whatever, so. It's a raw percentage. Yep. I need. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep. So, well, well, they're rambling, um, I, I I was digging away, right? Yeah, yeah, you're digging. Okay, uh, I never rolled for that. Well, you better do it then. Well, the question is, how many should I roll, or how long? Well, I'll start with one, and I'll tell you how long uh, or how your progress is. Okay, and then the other question is. Um, Am I rolling for underground tunneling or underground architecture? Um, and then obviously I'll be rolling for um, mining to start digging through. Uh, well, what right. is it that you want to determine? I want to determine how we can dig up safely to either a another part of the mine that's open or the cavern or either just dig upwards to freedom okay so pretty much what I'm saying is dig up at like a 30% angle upwards so eventually we'll we'll hit surface. All right. Um. To answer the first question that came up, uh, who is familiar with uh, the hover cycles? Um. Uh, I did own one at one point. I don't know how like knowledgeable I am. Uh, about yours there. was a like a <laughs> tiny little one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So from what you would know, it, 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 based on your knowledge of that, is that that one specifically would not have a... It probably would get about uh, 50 feet uh, in the air, Max. However, Nala and Billy uh, would have some familiarity with these uh, as being early Northern Gun uh, models. And... Um, they actually have a max altitude of 1,000 feet. Ooh. What? They have a max altitude of 1,000 feet. Hover hover bikes? Yep. They can go straight up 1,000 yep. feet? That's more like a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it a hover cycle and not a stay on the ground cycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well, I would probably know that too, because I, I, well, at least I could, I could, I could pilot. I might not know, have knowledge of the thing, but I could pilot it because I have a high pilot. Well, you'd have skill. some some degree of knowledge. You'd probably know that it would be enough to get you out of the, out of the hole. Okay. You've seen them go pretty high before. So, so while did Billy went to sleep? 
So Billy and, right? and Dwyer are sleeping. Everyone's digging. I'm I, and Katarina and Nala are there. I want to say to Katarina and Nala, you know, I I don't even try to think of this. My entire plan with the rope is completely pointless. If these bikes work, we can just fly out of here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna test them out. I'd like to go over and see if I can start. I gotta dig it out first, though. I'm gonna dig out the razor. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat as I'm eat as I'm digging them out until I start to feel full, and then I'm gonna stop digging, eating, and then just dig. All right. Um. Are we allowed to help him? Dig? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, thank you, Nala. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you helping us. Yeah. You seem very interested in these bikes. Just noticed you looking at them very, very strongly. I mean, they, they are pretty cool. They just, are pretty cool. Just noticing. You ever, ever rode one of these before? I mean, maybe. Maybe once. Maybe cool. once or twice. Yeah. I, 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 I don't... I've never, I don't think I've ever flown one of these, but I've, I've flown other hovercraft and, and I really like, like flying them. So I'm looking forward to hopefully these things start and we can get out of this hole. You, do you think you can fly these though? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. I, I'm a pretty skilled uh, with a hovercraft, but um, I've never, never flown one of these bikes before, but we'll see. Hopefully okay. it can hold me. Hopefully. All right. Yep. Well, let's give it a shot. All right. Uh, Ermin, and what were your three skills again? You had mining, you had... Three skills? He's only got three skills? No, he had three skills <laughs> pertaining to this. That's the downside of being level eight. <laughs> <laughs> you lose skills. <laughs> no, you're muted. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Okay, you can hear yes. me now. <laughs> yes, okay. Mr. Armand, you smarty pants. Anyway, uh, actually, there's a fourth one that I didn't uh, mention, which uh, was Underground Sense of Direction. Okay. Which I actually wanted to use to find the best spot to dig to get us out of here, like uh, back above ground. Oh boy, that the struggle bus is what the stream is on right now. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not getting any connectivity did I, issues. Did I do something wrong again? No. I'd probably do something wrong again. I don't think this one's on our end. Oh, yep, yeah, stream crashed. Definitely did, yeah. Oh, did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's probably my fault. All I can hear is you and Chris right now. Matt is frozen and it's like everybody me? else is frozen. What about moi? Wow. Hello. Interesting. Oh. Nobody did it. It was your fault. You did it. It is now. Broadcast, you were watching because I ended. redeemed the glitch. Refresh. <laughs> redeemed glitch. Do we have our there first? We go. Hey! hey. What's back. up, lords and ladies of fate? <laughs> On this stream, we play various tabletop <laughs> roleplay games. <laughs> and simultaneously crash. <laughs> All it took was me redeeming my glitch. All right, so <laughs> Ermadin, roll me, results. roll me your uh, checks and tell me what they are. So, uh, I guess what my idea is, I want to survey the cavern real quick. You know, I already have basic knowledge from the cavern since I've seen it already, but I want to figure out the best spot where I can easily dig uh, to the surface mm -hmm. you know w without like uh, compromising the cave and such you know because we can always come back here into the cave but uh, I want to dig a hole up to the surface so we have a way um, so 
I want to use my underground sense of direction mm -hmm. with, I guess, a combination of underground architecture, underground tunneling. Okay. Um, so roll me all. Yeah, roll me all four. And tell me what each one is before you roll it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with sense of direction. Mm, that's a good one to start with. Make sure you're actually looking the right way. Uh, oh, it's a D100. And for this, I have. Sorry. I have uh, 80%. Right. So 50 there. Okay. You know the direction that you need to go. Uh, the next one is underground architecture. Okay. Uh, and that's because... Uh, just because direction I'm digging, you know, I don't want to run into any walls or supports and such. Oh. Uh, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, may, you may or may not be working harder than you need to. Oh, no. I am definitely going in the right direction. <laughs> Don't you remember my last roll? Mm -hmm. I'm doing everything right right now. Not true. All right, uh, <laughs> and then eighty percent for tunneling, uh, huh? which I guess after that I have to add on to mining. Uh, we'll do this tunneling LA. first. Okay. And what, uh, what's your percentage? Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a squeaker. All right, and then roll me hey. your mining. All right, I guess I'll roll you some mining, my friend. Uh, that's another eighty percent. Mm-hmm. And uh. I guess this just counts if, like, I hidden any gems on the way while mining upwards, I can collect those gems. Um, so I'm digging away, and if I see any gem patches, I'm mining at that. Okay. So as you begin to um, work your way through... Quick question. <laughs> yep. Where I'm digging at, mm -hmm. is that like a random wall or is it where like the. I'm trying uh, to tell you, but you area. keep asking questions. <laughs> I'm sorry? So I'm trying to tell you, but you keep asking <laughs> questions. Oh. Sorry. I guess <laughs> All right. So, um, <clears throat> you begin to, uh, you know, you know the direction that you want to go in, uh, that's going to give you, uh, the right, uh, you know, uh, pitch and everything, um, that you need to, to, to get out comfortably. Uh, um, however, uh, you, as you start to make that, uh, that dig, um, you, you make pretty good, some pretty good progress for a little while. Um, however, uh, you misjudge the supports that you need in order to make that tunnel, um, uh, safe. And, uh, shortly afterwards it collapses, uh, and actually causes a little bit more of a cave-in. So more, uh, debris and, and, and rubble starts to come down from the already compromised area of the hangar. Uh, so what I'd like you to do is roll me a dodge, uh, check. Mm. And it will be versus 
Uh, just gotta get higher than the ten. Can I do a reflex roll? No. For pulling my hammer out. <laughs> You're gonna hammer the the debris landslide. I don't know if we can do that. On <laughs> parry it. I can definitely parry that. That's like child's play. Uh, dodge like dark souls. Yep, dodge roll. <laughs> and that's a d20. There we go. All right, so you... 16. Got 16, okay. So you're able to dodge out of the way. Um... See, uh, Dwyer, you go ahead and roll me a dodge too. Plus two, wonderful. Eight. All right. So uh, the fall, the uh, the the landslide of debris that starts to come in uh, half covers you. Uh, from like the waist down in uh, debris and rocks which immediately Jesus. wakes you up fuck god what are you oh god I just want to get some sleep guys what are you doing oh. hmm. and uh, Ermadin you do see a small patch of cal or, uh, quartz um, in mixed in with some of the debris I heard name mixed in with a bunch of legs. Oh, I said uh, you see some quartz uh, mixed in with some of the debris that's fallen down. Am I falling down with it, or is it just no, like... It's, uh, it was an avalanche that came in from you trying to, to do the mine. You dodged out of the way. Uh, Dwyer got partially covered under it. And just when you're looking at the the end result, you see, you just happen to notice that there's, you know, some quartz that are that are mixed in in this area. Okay. Uh, so it's after it stops sliding. Yeah. And um, there were some quartz. Hmm. So I'm partially covered. Yep. Do I see Ermadin? Oh, uh, he he's oh, yeah. covered. But sorry, uh, no time wasted. Literally going to dig him up. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, it, it's fine. I didn't realize that we were going to be doing this, but that that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm literally just getting him up, and I'm gonna fuck throw him out, throw him out of the sand once I can grab him. All right, doesn't take too much effort to get him out, but oh, because I'm so powerful. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, I'm a dwarf. Mm -hmm. I can do anything. Uh, Nat, if you could direct your attention to roll twenty one more mm -hmm. time, please. And um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna swing over to uh, Nala and Rungus. We're going over to the hover bikes. Okay. Um. Did I save you? Yeah, you saved him. You Great. saved everyone. That's all. <laughs> you saved him from the destruction that you created. <laughs> hey, I'm all, I'm all I'm all fine with you creating a bunch of mess, but as long as you clean up after yourself, it's fine. Um. So, uh, but you, Dwyer, uh, you also uh, Dwyer and Nala uh, do find themselves one getting more. hungry. One liner. Hungry? Yeah, it's been a while. Since and uh, you're all thirsty because, you know, it's just, uh, it's just the nature of the humid area of the side of the Appalachian. Am I having a restful sleep? Or am I, like, hearing this shit and sort of, like, tossing and turning? Uh, roll me perception.
Uh, if there's enough going on to wake you up. It's not like, uh, you know, like somebody slamming the dishes, you know, right next to your head or anything, but it's it's enough rumbling to go on. Hold on, Armandine, let me get some of these other guys. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just keep my hand near. Okay. <laughs> the sun. I would, um... <laughs> uh... So, since I'm thirsty, I'd like to pull my first canteen from my belt and try to drink it. Okay. Nala? I believe they're both... Yes? Yeah. So, uh, don't forget, you're thirsty as well. And hungry. It's been a while since you guys have uh, stopped for any kind of refreshments. And back to be rolling, too? No. There's no so nothing to roll for it. My... You just... Oh, okay. But if you have a canteen, you might want to drink it. Chug luck, chug luck. Or face the consequences of dehydration. But you might walk at dysentery, though. Not you, 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 your character. <laughs> okay, how do I... Do you have a canteen? How do I... Um, I... That's a great question. I don't think I do. It, would be... it should be in your inventory. Yeah, in your gear list. Oh. Yeah, um, in my backpack? Yep. No, I don't. No. Oh, no! Oh, I lied. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, I did. Yeah, I thought you guys had all filled okay, your canteens yeah, up do. at the river. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I totally overlooked that. Sorry. Alright. So, uh, yeah, you're able to, uh, to at least, uh, refresh yourself. It does take the full canteen for both of you guys to start feeling refreshed. I'm going to go ahead and empty my second one while I'm at it. And then I'm going to cast Create Water on both ob both of those. Okay. Canteen. Use 14 PPE. Very good. 70 minus 14 is 156. And refill them. All right. Canteens are refilled. Full action, though. Casting the spell. That's right. Was I able to refill mine as well? He refilled yours for you. Oh, thank you. That's very good. Did I? I have to use that. Oh, I thought you said you were doing. Oh, you did two, two of yours. Oh, he did. Yeah, he. Did oh, okay, I thought you said they meant the two. Doing... That you guys did. No, no, no. Okay. No, he's just doing it. So. He expressed need. Well, but. <laughs> <laughs> he needs more water than you do, but. But yeah, and, uh, so yeah, no, yours doesn't refill. Yours is empty, and. Uh, you're pretty much out of water, I think, at this point. Me? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not good. No. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> but you're not the... Water sucks. It really, really... Caterine. All right, and then you guys wanted to look at the hover bikes? Oh. Yeah. If we still have action, yeah. I guess there's no restriction. Yeah, there's no combat, so... so. I'm just kind of so, yeah. moving around the room a little. We clear away the raisins from them. They were buried in raisins. Yeah, by the time you guys got the raisins cleared, is about the time that uh, the avalanche started happening on the other side of the uh, hangar there. But it didn't impact us. It didn't. We just looked over. It did impact no, it didn't. us. No, did not. Okay, so I'm gonna obviously look over there and shake my head, and then go back to what I'm doing. Um, uh, do I perceive anything about the bikes now that they're uncovered? No, they look like they're all like brand new condition. Other than, you know, being old. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to hop on one and try to start it up. Alright. I have I have a skill for this. Do I need to roll for it to start it? Yeah, go ahead. Give me a give me a skill check. Not a skill, so it's not like assumed success, I don't think. It's only 70. Um, yeah, 70. It's not that I'm level 4. <laughs> so M, do you have a um, pilot hover cycle? Not hover cycle, just hover craft. Well, either one. Seven is a skill. I think they started with hover craft and then later had hover cycle. So. I failed that miserably. Oh my god. I have no skill bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying it's causing delays. Actually, uh, you, we have an old glitch of yours too that we haven't redeemed. So, <laughs> as you go to start it up, uh. 
It, something <laughs> sparks in your hands as you as you hit the ignition, and uh, something shorts out, and it just kind of immediately shuts off. No, oh, okay. This one doesn't work. <laughs> Definitely doesn't work. All right, could have gone a lot worse. Whew. Right by brow. All right, now, do you say you had um, any piloting hovercraft or anything like that, or hover cycle? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, no, no, I don't. You don't? Okay. Uh, ew. I had, uh, oh, wait, where is it? Um. Mm, nope. The devil gave me the skill bonus, but it's too late. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, there was also XP for Redemption for Dwyer and a one-liner for Ermadin. Oh, I didn't say you know how to fly one of these. Jump on one of the other bikes. Yeah, we'll just hurry past. I wouldn't do it while I threw him out of the sand. Just like, why did you die? <laughs> and then I point to the wall and I go, Ermadin, look, there's gold. Gold? Uh, and in the direction that you're looking, you do see some gold uh, sitting there. Oh my gosh. Looks like it fell out from the, the debris in the wall. Nice. Debris in the wall. Very convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never have a clear debris. What debris? The debris from your avalanche that you caused. You caused an avalanche? Where have you been? <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep. <laughs> no, um... Alright, uh... Yeah, I, I don't see anybody else in distress, right? <laughs> no, not really. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the gold. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Simple as that. It's like a, almost like it looks like a pretty solid chunk. Probably worth a oh, lot of great. money. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mine that right up. Okay. It's just like ground, right? You don't have to mine. You just gotta pick it up, I think, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you might want to get some some other pieces uh, of, you know, the other debris off of it. But yeah, it's pretty much a nice solid chunk. Great. I'm gonna start mining in this area. All right. Wait, no. I'm gonna mine for ten minutes. And then I'm gonna start trying to mine us out a tunnel again. Okay. In the correct direction. So we have an escape route. Alright. Go ahead and but do... At, at least give ten minutes for gold. Do a mining check for the gold, and then do me the... You already know the direction, so give me the other three rolls again. Is okay. anybody else doing anything at the present moment in time? Well, I think... So I said to Nala, I said, You said you could ride these bikes, right? Why don't you jump on one and see if you can start it? Can I ride these bikes? No. Is she knows what, what they are, but she doesn't know how to ride them. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, I know what they are, but I, I I've got nothing. Uh, okay, I thought you said you rode one before. All right, well, that's fine. Get, get. I, I know what they look like, and I know that I want to steal one, but I don't know how to ride it. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Okay. Well, uh, all right, well how to steal it. Uh, can I get on another one and try to? Yep. Try try to start it. And now you get another experience boost from uh, Good Devil. Nice. Oh, thank you. Or is the ladies hooking you up? I know. I appreciate it because I got nothing. I need all the help I can get right now. Girl. All right. What'd you get, Rungus? Oh, I'm gonna roll for for my craft again. Thirty-one this time. Check was seventy. So. No, you got seventy-six. You got a 76. Yeah, 31. 76. Mm -hmm. Someone else is, uh, come on. I can use the skill bonus. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not going to use the skill. Here, two other bikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one doesn't short out, but it, uh, it doesn't seem like it's responding very well. Mm -hmm. 
I want to holler. Rungus, did you try holding the button down? <laughs> hey, you're awake. Welcome, Dwyer. Come on over here and help me. What yeah, the hell are you guys doing now? I'm trying to get the party started. Can I, with absolutely no, like, uh, pilot hover cycle, can I just try to jump on one and try to start it? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. And you're like, you mean, like, one of these right here? And then uh, I... I'm curious. Do you know how to do that? Maybe you shouldn't. No, I have no... I've never done this before a day in my life. Oh, I, 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 get off, get off. Let me 80, show you how to start 80, 83. Hey, what's your skill? <laughs> Mine? Uh, no, uh, Dwyer's. I have pilot automobile. No, he has no skill. Oh, yeah. Doesn't start up. Uh, Ermin, and you owe me one more roll, too. <laughs> it doesn't even start. No, no, you got all three. No, uh, I need four. I need yeah. your mining, and then I need three more. Because you're mining for the gold first. And then I need your <laughs> other three rolls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're specifically looking for the gold. Yeah. Get the stuff out of the gold. Get the, to break the gold free. I think he was just doing. No, the the gold was loose. Wait. He grabbed he grabbed that. Now he's digging for yeah, more. He spent ten minutes looking Nat, for it. Because where there's where there's a little bit of gold, there must be more. And Nat, Nat said that there was stuff on the gold that he had to break off of it. Some like debris. Yeah, he already he already kind of did that. He's just looking for more. Yeah. Oh, I see. So let's be. Let's be fair. I rolled for mining as the first yep. one. 26. And then I rolled for um, architecture, mm -hmm. underground architecture, then underground tunneling. Yep. What what do I need to roll for next? Uh, just your general mining. See, it, uh, basically just to check pacing. So roll mining yep. again? Okay. Sorry, I didn't know I had to roll mining toys. All right, so uh, you do not find any gold, uh, but you do find more of the quartz. Seems to be very strong in this area for whatever reason. Um, and then after you know ten minutes of that, you start to to work your tunneling. Uh, to and and you know you're you're more successful this time. You take a little bit more time to do it. Um, so you start to build the entrance towards a you know basically a mine to uh, to build that tunnel towards the surface. Excellent. Very good. I think this just serves a toast. I'm gonna take a moment to uh, start drinking. By yourself. I after I mine for an hour, you know, mm -hmm. after I do the shenanigans for an hour, I'm going to make sure I sit down, drink some beer, feast. Okay. Your armor <laughs> provideth. Yes, it does. Uh, Billy, did you say you were trying to do um, one of the bikes? Yeah, I'll see if I can get one started. I have a uh, 98%. Okay. Yep. Did you do your roll? Nope, done it now. 18. Easily starts up. Ah, yes, success! Great success. Uh, in fact, you are able to get all of them running except for the one that uh, shorted out when Rungus started it up. Three or four. Wow, Billy, you're really good with these things. Dwyer, yeah. you're very good with these. No, but I'm. That's not going to stop me from hopping on another one. So I hop on one of the ones that uh, Billy got started. Oh, stop. I start. I start making helicopter sounds with my mouth. In my, Dude, that in my, my so brain. Higher. Yeah, fortunate sons playing in the back of my head. <laughs> Ray destroys it. <laughs> Alright. So uh roll me uh roll me the percentage again. Who? Uh Dwyer. I just I love getting myself into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't think the uh 
the one skill bonus I have is going to be enough to save that. Yeah, you fly, uh, you accidentally hit the accelerator and fly right into uh, one of the walls. Very close to where Ermadin's uh, mining. Oh, find any, find any of that gold, buddy? Wait, wait, wait what happened? Wait. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop ruining what I'm trying to do. What are you doing to help us get out of here? Look, I tried to turn the thing on. I tried to fly up. I played Fortunate Son in the back of my brain. What else do you want me to do? How, how dick? We gotta dig ourselves out here. Uh, no, Dwyer doesn't dig. You saw what happened the last time there, I was near digging. I got buried because somebody couldn't stop digging. And, uh... Yeah, uh, these things go up. I think we're good. That, has the storm stopped yet? No. Oh, well, all right, what, this what, is what I'm going to need all of you to do. <laughs> Firstly, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Secondly, lay on the floor. Thirdly, get some fucking sleep. Um, we're not going to be able to get out of this cave with that thing going on. Are we still close enough to a ley line or nexus that I can use my 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 brain messaging? Yes. I'm gonna send a message to Rungus and it's gonna say, "Man, when did Billy get so assertive? It's like he's the <laughs> leader or something." Do I receive this message? In your head, yeah. Ah, oh, 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 <laughs> talking to me, but you didn't move your mouth. <laughs> Oh, Rungus, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you I can do that sometimes. It's really scary. Don't do that to Rungus. What the hell are you two talking about? And then I send a telepathic message to him. You got it, bud. Uh, <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. Billy, he's talking to me in my head. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to thought, sleep. I'm going to look at Billy and go, I don't know what the hell he's on about now. All right, let's just get some rest so we can get the hell out of here in one piece. Yeah, too much for one day, Billy. I'm, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna curl up in a little ball, real cutely on the floor. I'm gonna take my blanket out that has the uh, the made from the Millennium Tree leaves, and I'm gonna, you know, kind of just cover myself up real nice. Blanket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury myself in raisins. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty. Scooping like sand. <laughs> but they're all wet and soggy, so. Still warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, things covered in cat hair. Oh, God damn it. That was me in real life, not Dwyer. Ugh. All right, how long are you guys sleeping <laughs> for? Until we feel uh, right. Until the storm's done, or try to at least, if we can. Um, I don't oh. plan on sleeping. Yeah, I got but, that. Uh, He's so close okay. to getting more gold. Wrong <laughs> it's not about the gold here. So you guys sleep for about eight hours, and it was, uh, Ermadin continues to dig and dig and dig. Um, storm's still going. Should I, should I roll any, uh, dice from mining and such, or? No, no, we got, from the other rolls, we know where you're, where you're at with it. It just takes a long time, you know, it's a big, it's a big, oh, yeah. uh. I, I wasn't sure if you are going to do, like. Every hour I dig, I need to roll a new roll. Nah, nah. That'd be okay. excessive. Thank you. <laughs> still faster, it's still here. It's still All there. Right. All right. Did we woke up or we're still sleeping? You woke up. It's eight hours later. Oh, um, I just also want to point in that I'm drinking as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to point out that I'm going to be drunk when uh, they wake up. Makes sense. No, I, I'm just saying for reference, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, when I wake up, I'm going to take the closest pile of raisins and shove it in my mouth and eat it. And then I'm going to, uh, hang on, I think I believe I have a ration pack here. Maybe not. A rational pack. Ration pack. Ration. So we have moved We have moved to waking up now? Yep. Yep. I'm going to walk up to Ermadin and go, Hey, 
buddy, did you did you find any more gold? I don't. Oh, yeah, I do have a week's worth of rations, so I'm gonna take one day of my rations and eat it. Well, I'm not even gonna stop digging. I'm gonna be like, gold. Er er Ermadin, you should just go and. You should look yeah. at that gold. You should, you should sh show everybody that gold you found. Take it out of your pack. Show everybody. No. Just, sh just, just. It's nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, have, you have fun with that then. I'm gonna turn around and walk away from him. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this symbol as I make eye contact with Rungus, and I'm gonna point backwards towards Ermadin. Yeah, definitely. And he's drunk all the time. Yep. Yep. Ermadin, yep. you got an XP bonus from Good Devil. I. I, I saw that. I did not put that down, though. And I do appreciate it. Put the driver right down. Do you, do you hear that, lords the... and ladies of fate? Ermadin's just just throwing away all your hard-earned <laughs> redemptions. <laughs> Give them to us instead. This we cherish the them. Third we nurture them. Game in my entire career. And, oh, wait. Nobody threw anything else out there yet, right? Oh, All right. no. That was a uh, <laughs> skill bonus for Nala. Uh, she had to go let the dog out, so we'll probably uh, wrap honestly, up before she gets back. I thoroughly enjoy all the drops and glitches. Mm -hmm. Bring them on. It makes it exciting. Do that and at I'm... the end. We're not done yet. <laughs> so, how much... Uh, now that you guys are awake, are we, I mean, is there anything you want to do, or are you just going to sit around and wait? Uh, I... I ate, a, I ate a day's worth of rations, and uh, I'm gonna and, I'm gonna do the same. Who yeah, we got these rations? Gosh, we're stuck in a hole in the middle of a hurricane. We'd be pretty hungry right now if we didn't. Oh, how didn't how far for us? What's that? How how far have I dug through, like uh, cavern wise, up to the surface? Um. We'll say that you probably got about uh, 10 foot an hour, but you're going at an angle, so. Then it's about 80 feet. You probably, at the pitch that you're going, you're probably going to, you're about halfway, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a little less than that. But anyway, that's a good, that's a good momentum. I'm going to raise the angle. To like uh, 35 feet. Okay. So it's gonna. 35 degrees, you mean? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Just uh, so we can get up to the surface faster. All right. Um. After you guys eat. Uh, it's been about two more hours since you guys have been awake for things to finally start to die down up there. And with that, we will, uh, we'll call it for the night. For a little, little past. So, our prediction was, uh, <laughs> would we get to Mad Haven today? And the answer is no. I think everybody who voted wins this one because i don't yeah. think one person voted yes that's yeah. correct <laughs> when i tried to vote it was closed and it was a hundred percent no <laughs> <laughs> so i think everybody wanted that regardless. i put i put half of my channel points i wagered half of my channel points i'm very reckless with these things <laughs> All right. Um, any got anybody want to plug anything or, or say anything about um, while I calculate the, the um, experience points? Let's see. What do I want to plug? Um, new season of The Witcher Two in post production right now. So keep your ears to the ground. You're gonna get that soon. I'm not involved in it in any way, shape, or form. I'm just a fan. Season two of okay. Love, Death, and Robots. Well, you're muted. You were you were hard muted. <laughs> uh, 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 cares. This is Lord and Ladies of Fate stream, and we only care about Lords and Ladies of Fate news. I'm just kidding. 
I do care. <laughs> okay, in Lords and Ladies of Fate news, yesterday at the beginning of the stream, I read my cue card uh, for the intro, threw it uh, back behind my computer because I wanted to throw it at the webcam, and my cat found it and started tearing it up, so now I have to make a new one. Oh, it's time for revision anyway. I have no idea what your intro was. I'm sure it was beautiful. Uh, welcome, all you lords and ladies of fate. On this stream, we play various tabletop roleplay games. This is the only Twitch roleplay channel where you, the viewer, get to affect... Uh, see, and that's why I have to have it written down, because I fucked it up. See the card. Yeah, I, 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 there, there, there's rumor and possibility that I might roleplay um, DM. <laughs> A Star Wars stream on this channel. There's, there's, there's talk about that. Yeah, I heard that rumor as well. Yeah. That sounds pretty exciting. Sounds exciting as well. It will not be nearly as good as that stream, so to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. But to, to be fair, Armand, no matter what speech you write down, there's always going to be that instinct or habit to, like, read, read away from it. Uh, <laughs> I always, I always pu pu like punch in something in there. Like when I get to the, the, uh, what is it, the, the, the subscription stuff. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a little, you know, like cough up those prime subs, stuff like that. <laughs> but if I don't have the stuff written down, it, it'd be a mess. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, welcome to um, <laughs> this, this stream where we do stuff sometimes. Yeah, it definitely took me a while to get it down. Oh yeah. And All it right. becomes so much easier as you do it. You know. Experience. <laughs> Billy, Rungus, and Nala get 150. Dwyer gets 175. Dwyer's just an XP haul. And Ermadin, 225. Sweet. Now, does that include the uh, XP I got? Nope. That's so your job to keep track of. I got me. Uh, each one, each bonus you get is a 50 uh, XP increase. Okay. And or I decrease. Got, and I got 250 from you? Uh, 225. 225? Yep. So I'm at 325. How about we do a raid? Yeah, we are going to raid. Raid. raid people and if you guys don't mind stick around at least till the raid is actually uh, happened and then you can of course leave and do whatever the hell you want because you know, yeah but you gotta life. make sure hey i say this every time you guys gotta make sure that you're spamming those emotes in the chat when uh when we go into these raids remember you are representing us the lords and ladies of fate that's you guys too so you know be a great member of the community and uh annoy the crap out of whoever it is that we're gonna raid by you know, give him the chombo. Give him, give him the one-two chomba meta hat combo. I like these guys. Are they actually? Are they on? Are they on? Are they on? Are they on? All right. Let's see. That's funny because Bruce Gaskin was cursing the beer that he was drinking pre-stream. He was saying, "Hey, orange. This smells like an orange." Still sucks. I don't love it. He just asked what it was. <laughs> all right so actually uh well, these guys are part of the uh, inspiration for me to actually do a streaming game oh so oh wait they're not doing they're not doing risks though mm. a role playing thing and let's not do that Uh, these are our buds that, uh, raided, uh, me Friday, I think it was, when I was doing my, um, uh, Grand Theft Auto. So, well, let's, uh, let's return the favor there. That's a good group to... I do not blackjack, but I do white fill. Do what? I do not blackjack, but I do white fill. White fill? Like, qu white queen? White king? What? White eight? All right. Well, bye, everybody. We will see you. Uh, I'll probably pop in occasionally throughout the weekend with uh, Grand Theft Auto or, or Star Control or something. And um, we'll see you guys next week for more 5th edition D&D and Rifts. Hopefully, hopefully, we get to Mad Haven. Bye. Bye. Probably not. <laughs>